Good evening, and thank you for joining us for KSBY News. I'm Mackenzie Diaz, and we have a lot of stories we want to bring to you tonight in your communities. But first, we begin in San Luis Obispo. Some in the community feel like the city needs upgrades, while others are fine with how it is. Well, the city is working to make project improvements that are better and safer for all who use the roads. The High Garrett Complete Street project is identified as a high priority in the active transportation plan. The project will provide improvements for everyone who uses the roads in many areas around San Luis Obispo, including bikers like Willie Wilson. There's plenty of um, roadways in slow that have bike lanes, but I think there's um, a major layer of security added when there's physical barriers between cars that are able to go up to 60 miles an hour next to you um, and you on a bike. One aspect of the Higuera Complete Street project aims to do just that. Higuera Street from Marsh to South will be upgraded to protected bike lanes with concrete separation along the corridors with gaps where there are driveways. There are plans to do this around other areas in San Luis Obispo as well. Wilson has been riding her bike around San Luis Obispo for 10 years. She says the roads are in need of some improvement. While something like mountain biking is inherently like kind of dangerous in terms of like the injuries you can get. There's something that feels so much more safe because you're never riding with traffic, like with auto traffic. However, Grimaldi rides his bike often and says the roads are fine the way they are. He grew up in Los Angeles where traffic was a lot worse. He thinks putting money towards more green lines is a good move. Yeah, I feel like it'd be better uh, spent more on just the green lanes. I think the green lanes are effective. Uh, at least from my experience, people know what to do when they see a green lane. He says some changes aren't necessary. Yeah, the, the concrete bears on Choro and one thing I noticed that they're very low and they're still very much gray concrete. I drove my car through that area at night and I hardly noticed them and so maybe having reflectors or maybe having you know the soft baller just a little higher so it's noticeable could help. The project will cover connections to local schools, businesses, parks, residents and more. The designs aim to improve pedestrian crossings and accessibility with 74 curb ramps and 45 upgraded or new crosswalks. There will be new center turn lanes and upgraded traffic signals. Some of the areas the city is looking to bring changes to include Higuera Street, Marsh to South, Higuera Street South to Bridge and neighborhood greenway connection to broad and south and these are just a few areas the city is hoping to get the project approved in fall of this year to start construction early 2025 a meeting will be held on thursday for community members to learn more about the plan and bring any questions they have and we'll have more information on the specifics of each project on this story at ksby.com and the meeting will be held on thursday from 6 p.m to 8 p.m at the city hall in san luis obispo mckenzie diaz ksby news